What is up, Sandals Church youth? It's Kyle from Lake Arrowhead Campus coming at you with this week's Sunday Devo. And when I was diving into my scripture this week, God really convicted me. You know, we're weeks and months into sheltering place, sheltering in place at home. And for me, I have really been struggling with, with the command that Jesus gave in Matthew 22 to love our neighbors as herself. Um, being home with my wife and my toddler child and just like not being able to get out and be myself and do the things that I want to do, I've found that I have started to lack in areas that are crucial to healthy family life and in keeping the peace at home. I've really struggled with that. You know, when quarantine first started, it was easy to call friends, call family, check in on them, see how they were doing because you're like, oh, it's not, it might not be that long. What's a five minute phone call or five minute FaceTime? Now I'm you know, two months in, and I couldn't tell you the last time I called my brother to see how he was doing, and that sounds terrible. But I've gotten comfortable in keeping to myself, right? And, and this circumstance and these situations have caused me to almost become selfish. Um, and similar to what Pastor Matt was talking about, it's one of those things where I'm like, man, do I want quarantine to end? Am I comfortable with where I am at and being bitter and angry and just having this negative mindset? And I was reading in 1 Corinthians 13, and Paul's writing about what agape love looks like, this love that we've been called to show one another. He, he writes in 1 Corinthians 13, if I could speak all the languages of earth and of angels, but didn't love others, I would only be a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I had the gift of prophecy, and if I understood all of God's secrets and plans and possessed all knowledge, and if I had such faith that I could move mountains, but didn't love others, I would be nothing. If I gave everything in a, in, uh, sorry, if I gave everything I have to the poor and even sacrificed my body, I could boast about it. But if I didn't love others, I would have gained nothing. And this was the part that got to me. These next verses right here, verses four through seven. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It's not irritable and it keeps no record of being wrong. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. I'm sure some of you have heard those verses before, probably read at a wedding. But what Paul's listing out here, this is a description of love. This is a description of agape love. And when I have, when I hold these verses up and I look at them as a mirror to how I've been treating others during quarantine, I fall dreadfully short of the bar that's been set for me in scripture. And I'm going to read it again, and I'm going to replace every time you hear the word love, I'm going to replace love with my name to hold these verses up as a mirror to see how I'm doing. So verse, starting in verse 4, Kyle is patient and kind. I haven't been. Um, Kyle is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. I haven't been lately. He does not demand his own way and is not irritable, and he keeps no record of being wrong. He does not rejoice about injustice, but re rejoices whenever the truth wins out. He never gives up. He never loses faith. And he's always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. When I do that and I look at these scriptures, that's not true about where I've been in my life these last couple weeks. I have been the opposite of this description of love in so many ways as to how I've treated others, whether it's my neighbors or my family or my friends. I have fallen drastically short. And I'm sharing this with you guys because I think as quarantine goes on, it's easy for us to fall into our selfish ways to make it all about who we are and what we need. I want to challenge you guys today. Dive into scripture. Look at these verses about love and ask yourself and be honest with yourself and be honest with God. God, am I loving people the way you've called me to? And if you really don't know, ask. Ask somebody in your family. Maybe, maybe some of the tension in the household is because of your actions. What can you do to help improve your situation at home this week? Can you be more patient? Can you be more kind? Can you not brag or boast when you beat your family at a hand of Uno? What can you do to show love to the people you are sheltering in place with this week? We love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace out.